International Facility and Management Association is said to mark their annual World Facility and Management Day, which is celebrated once a year to recognize the professions that has impacted over 70 sustainable development goals, which is going to be marked in Accra on the 11th May 2022, with the team leading a sustainable future. There is a most widely recognized international association for facility management professionals, supporting over 24,000 members in over 106 countries across the globe. It now offers professional advancement through credentialing programs and provides a range of educational courses from entry-level programs to those of highly experienced facility managers. Facility management is a profession that encompasses multiple disciplines to ensure the functionality of the built environment by integrating people, place, process, and technology. It entails health and safety at the workplace, security, management systems, environmental sustainability, etc. The Ghana chapter represents IFMA in Ghana. In August 2009, the board of directors of IFMA of the United States of America approved the charter and this gave the charter an international recognition. And currently we have over 200 trained professional members across the nation working at various institutions, influencing change and changing the norm of the absence of trained facility managers in our institutions. World FM Day or World Facility Managers Day is celebrated once a year. This is to celebrate the profession, the profession that impacts a greater percentage of the 17 sustainable development goals. And this profession is the facility manager. This year, the Ghana chapter of the International Facility Management Association will be marking the day in Accra as part of the worldwide celebration on the 11th of May 2022. The theme for the Global FM Day is Leading a Sustainable Future. The Ghana chapter wants to focus on the health, health and well-being in a post-COVID hybrid working environment in Ghana. Ladies and gentlemen, facilities management influence the health, safety, productivity and well-being of people who utilize the built environment. Facility managers are involved in building management from design stage to enhance its overall life cycle. The challenge today in our built environment in Ghana is not just bad maintenance culture. As we always say, but the challenge is firstly and more critically the lack of skilled manpower and secondly the lack of understanding of the value of FM by governments, business owners, and financial institutions. The International Facilities Management Association and the organizing committee of the celebration of this year's FMDA. I want to invite you to the World FM Day celebration to be held in Ghana on the 11th May at the Noble International Business School here in Accra. 
near the food and drugs authority. The event starts at 10 o'clock in the morning. The speakers will be speaking on topics like the strategic role of facility management in sustaining the built environment, the health and well-being in a COVID and a post-COVID hybrid working environment. Ladies and gentlemen, the role of government in achieving a sustainable built environment cannot be overemphasized. The IFMA chapter in Ghana want to encourage government to establish appropriate legislations and ensure its compliance. Also to ensure design of public buildings through the use of environmentally compliant materials and enforced professionalism. Establishing a government facility management department or agency for infrastructure management and regulation is very critical in Ghana. We encourage government to adapt the public According to IFMA Ghana President Mr. Samsino Pare, in his interview with Nation One TV, said that they are ready to ensure the functionality of built environment in order to integrate people, places, process, and technology for the safety of the employee across the world. Uh, today, what we are doing is a press launch of our upcoming facilities management. Uh, Day celebration. It is a day that we, we celebrate every year, okay, and it's set aside to celebrate the profession and uh, the professional for facility manager. Yeah, you know, facilities management is a profession that encompasses multiple disciplines, and our work is to ensure the functionality of the built environment. Yeah. Uh, and we do this by integrating people, place, you know, processes and technology. We ensure that when you come to the workplace, you are your health is checked, your safety is checked, and you are working productively. Because at the end of the day, your employer, all that is expecting from you is that you work productively so that they you have returns of, of, of his investment. Okay. And you cannot do this in any way but in a built environment. Yeah. But the question is, um, do our employers okay, see the need of employing facilities managers in their built environment to ensure that their workers are working productively? No. And it's because maybe they don't know of this profession. Okay? So a, every year in a day like this, we try to educate you know, the world. And, tell the world about you know the, the profession called uh, facility management and educate the world about the importance of having facilities managers at your uh, built environment or institutions yeah. that we are already doing that because it's important I mean we cannot do this we cannot achieve our goals without partnering you know especially government and, and therefore we are doing that. In our own small way, we have started a project for um, ensuring the uh, running of facility management courses in all our uh, 10 technical universities in Ghana. And, and, and we've gone through more than five of them. We are continuing to we'll cover all of them. And we are helping them to draw a curriculum, I mean, slab horses that run facilities management in their institution. That is the only way that we will have facilities managers in all our institutions, ensuring the functionality of the adult space. We have members across the nation. We have members across the nation. We have, we have members in Kumasi, I mean, mentioned them all across the nation here. Yeah. And one of the things that we are doing, and pushing very well, is training our professionals, okay, to become professional facilities managers. Okay, to understand the language of facility management, okay, to bring results 
that they are built a barrel and at their institution to add value, you know, to their core businesses. Yeah, that's what we are doing.